To get started, I just added a video I'd like to put a timer on onto my timeline. Let's begin by going over to the Media tab and clicking the New button. Select Composite Shot. The default settings work fine, so I'm just going to hit OK. In your Composite Shot, click the New Layer button. Select Grade. Alright, now let's go back to the editor. Drag your composite shot on top of your video and position it to where you want your timer to start. Then go over to the effects panel. Type time into the search box. Drag the timecode effect onto your composite shot. Alright, as you can see, we have a working timer here, but it'll need a few adjustments. First, let's set up a frame freeze for when we want it to stop. Go over to the effects panel. Type speed into the search box. Drag the effect onto your composite shot. In the Controls tab, open up the speed effect you just added. Click on the Display Timeline button so that you can see a mini version of your timeline. Drag the edge of the Controls panel so that you can see the little circle next to Speed. And you may want to use a slider down here to zoom in on your timeline. Alright, now position the timer to where you want your timer to stop. Click the circle next to Speed to create a starting keyframe. Then press a right bracket key on your keyboard to move the timer forward one frame. Change the speed to zero to create an ending keyframe. Okay, now when I play this back, my timer will freeze when it hits these keyframes. And you can just drag the end of the composite shot to adjust how long you want the freeze to play for. Now that we have a working timer with a freeze, let's open up the timecode effect in the controls tab to change some settings. First, make sure time from is set to layer. This way, the timer starts where you position your composite shot and not at the beginning of the timeline. Then I'm going to use a scale slider to make the timer bigger. I'm okay with the color of my text and its opacity, so I'm going to leave those alone, but you can adjust those settings if you want. I am going to decrease the background's opacity to zero to get rid of that black box around my text. And lastly, to reposition the timer, just use a selection tool to drag it to your desired position. Okay, now our timer looks a lot better and behaves like it should. But let's say you want your timer to count down instead of counting up. To do this, go back over to the effects panel and type time reverse into the search box. Drag the effect onto your composite shot. You'll then need to delete the speeds keyframes that you created earlier. Okay, now our timer is counting down. Alright, and that's all for this tutorial. Thanks for watching and see you next time.